Welcome to Rhino Hacks. I'm Brian and this is Kyle, and today, Kyle, I have a challenge for you. Let's hear it. You have arrived for your shoot in North Dakota. Middle of nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And your luggage has not arrived with you. Okay. Your challenge is that your shoot begins in three hours. Oh boy, that's soon. And your slider was in your luggage. Crap. Can you build a slider in three hours or less? Let's make it happen. Ready? Start the set, timer. Go. All right, so with our limited time and our limited budget, I'm thinking a rail system using conduit is gonna be perfect for this. So we can just mount a wheel onto maybe a piece of, of angle iron like so. So we have our wheels. Then we just need something to bridge the gap between the two pieces for our camera to mount to on top of this and to hold the whole thing together. And then maybe on the ends we could have, um, I know the EMT has some small brackets they could, maybe we could mount to another piece of metal to hold the rails in position. So, so this is what I'm thinking. Let's go to the hardware store and see if we can figure it out. Where else would angle iron be? Did I pass it? Did I miss it? Aisle 34 gotta... to the right, right around oh, the corner right. there. How did I miss that? I come here all the time. Are you gonna put it on YouTube? Yeah. 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 I love YouTube. Oh yeah, that's right. I've learned so much from YouTube. We're gonna try to make this as tool free as possible. And angle iron is really convenient because we have these holes already um, stamped into the side of this piece. So I think this will save us some time. Everything should go together well. We got a bunch of hardware. Um, we'll see if I didn't forget anything. Make a slider. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make a slider. Yeah. We'll make yeah. a slider. Go smooth. Make a slider. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're on a budget, time and money, and we need some skateboard wheels. So we're at a skate park. We're gonna try to bum some wheels off some guys. Got a quick question for you, dude. We're uh, we're making this this film project, and we're trying to build this this camera dolly. And you got a skate, I'm wondering if we could have the wheels off your skateboard. We're already an hour in. We got our parts, we got our wheels. I need a Slurpee. Hour 47 left. Let's do this thing. All right, so we just got back from the store. We have a little bit more than half of our time left. I got everything from our trip in this box here. So we got our big old conduit, been cut in half. Uh, so we picked out some tools on the way in, a couple hex wrenches um, to tighten up some of our fasteners and this handy little dual um, socket wrench. That's all the tools that we'll need to assemble this thing. Um, I have a, a crud load of fasteners. We have our end plates. We have our actual part of our carriage pieces, our carriage, our skate wheels from the skate shop, some nice bearings. Make this thing roll real smooth. First and foremost, you want to get yourself organized. So the first step I want to do on this is actually get the carriage assembled. To do that, we have this, this 4x4 anchor that we're going to need to flare out these about 45 degrees. So you can either do this with your hands, you could do it in a vise, but the goal is to get it flared out. So I'm going to do it on the table here. The way that this works is that we need to bolt these two pieces together. Um, and you can see the holes actually line up fairly well. All right, so that's stage one of the build. You can see we have our washers on there. We have our two pieces of angle iron bolted on to the main piece of the carriage. And so if you remember on the whiteboard, this basically gives us our general shape of how we're gonna mount our rollers onto it. And now it's time to actually bolt the, the wheels onto your carriage. 
Okay, so we have a problem right now where, you see these bearings inside here, they, uh, they don't sit flush with the wheel. I'm not a skateboarder, and so I thought this would actually sit flush, so I only got one washer per wheel to space it off of off, off our component right here. But in reality, we need four washers to space this so that the wheel doesn't hit our angle. So I'm making a store run and we barely have an hour left. All right, Kyle's back from the store. There's 47 minutes to go. I gotta tear this thing down and then rebuild it again. All right, proof of concept complete. This thing, uh, this thing rolls pretty well. It's pretty smooth. So next, it is time to actually build up the end plates. For this assembly, I have my 832 by 3 8 inch socket cap. This is gonna go through the bracket into the angle. I have a washer, a fender washer on the back side, and my 832 lock nut. Looks like he's gonna do it. It's working, it's working. It worked. Show me what you got. We made our time. So, uh, I mean, the plan went really well from the beginning. We have our conduit, we have our angle pieces, which worked great for our rail holders, our wheel holders, rather. End plates, and then you see the little four by four bracket to make our uh, Connection mm -hmm. between the two? Surprisingly right? smooth. Right? It's That's pretty good. Fantastic. <laughs> it's pretty good. So the trouble is, even though that you've made your time, you have 23 minutes left. Okay. The next step is how do you take this sure. and make it look great? Mm. Well, let's see. All right, I, I thought he might do this. So while I was at the store, I actually picked up a couple supplies or tools, if you will, to make this thing look good. Um, I got some nice rust oleum matte back black paint. Uh, it says it sticks well without primer. Um, if you want this thing to last a long time, primer is always a good idea. Uh, I don't really have time for that though. And then this is called Plasti Dip. It's basically this dip that you dip metal into and it puts a plastic coating around it to protect, you know, if you want uh, to protect the table so it doesn't get scratched. Want to make it look good? We're gonna be using both of those. So normally you want to dip a tool in here. I'm just going to dump some of this. Uh, we need to wait for the, the parts to dry before we actually dip them. Not sure if that's going to work much, but we have about 12 minutes left. All right, so we have about eight minutes left on the clock and I'm just sitting here doing nothing, watching paint dry. So unfortunately that's all I can do right now. It looks like it's gonna take another eight minutes to put another coat on the backside, another 10 minutes to reassemble it. I don't think we're gonna meet our deadline. So um, I guess the Slurpee did us in. We shouldn't have stopped. We didn't have enough time. So I'll put it back together. We'll be a little over, over budget on time, but uh, we'll show you what happens. Well, Kyle, this looks great and it rolls smoothly. It's what pretty have, good. What have you done to uh, make it beautiful? Make it beautiful, we use some nice spray paint. Mm -hmm. And Plasti Dip on the ends. Plasti Dip on the ends. I'd use rubber feet next time, which yeah. we'll throw together in the shopping list for you. Uh, the best part about it is that it actually mounts to a tripod really easily. Yeah, I see that. Using these three eighths inch wing nuts. That's great. If somebody wants to build this from scratch, how do they go about it? You mentioned yeah. the shopping list. Yeah, so what we've done is we put together a detailed PDF. It's a step-by-step -step guide with big photos, walking you through how to build this, what kind of hardware you need, 
It's actually a really simple build. It should only take you a couple hours after you get all the materials at hand. And there was no drilling. There no were drilling. no uh, taps to, to make threaded holes. Sure. It was uh, It was really simple. As tool free as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, please comment in the comment section below or email us at support at rhinocg.com. Thanks for watching.